Hello everyone, my name is Roya and uh, I know the thumbnail of this video shows my cat in it and I thought she was going to be in this video with me too because she was totally snuggling and trying to just be in my face but then as soon as I uh, was done at taking the photos she uh, saw a bird outside and um, ran over to the other side of the room and is still waiting for the bird to come back. Uh, so anyway, um, so today I'm coming to you with a full review of my favorite read of the year thus far and that is The Daughters of Izdahar. Um, uh, by Hadir Elzbay. This is an adult Egyptian-inspired fantasy uh, about two different women who get involved in a women's rights group and fight for their rights. Uh, they both have different elemental magic as well as a lot of people in this world do. Um, it's somewhat similar to and probably inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender, but it does kind of give it, it its own spin a little bit as well. So I loved this book so much. I thought that both of the main characters were such strong women and they had such distinct personalities and I love that the plot was so well thought out and the political angle of it was really thought out as well. Um, and I actually started reading this on audio because um, sometimes I do that. I will um, read a, a book on audio that I have a copy of or an ebook of or something. Um, and then whenever I can't be physically holding a book or reading a book or something. I can listen to the audiobook. Um, but I, so I started this on audio and I got so frustrated, um, not being able to just pick up the, the, the copy yet because I just had stuff to do and stuff like that. Um, because the audiobook was just not fast enough and I can read a physical copy or an ebook so much faster. So I was just like really frustrated and was like, I couldn't put it down. I couldn't wait to um, finish up what I was doing and get to my copy of the book so that I could just read it faster and find out what happens. Um, so I cursed myself. This was the kind of book that like I curse myself for starting in the middle of my work week, um, not knowing like when I have other things to do too during like a really busy week and uh, not knowing how good it was going to be and how much I was going to not want to put it down. Our story starts with one of our main characters, Nahal, who wants to go to an academy that trains soldiers who have the elemental abilities. Um, and so she wants to eventually, you know, go to the army and use her ability for the army. Uh, but she's a fancy noblewoman and she can't do that. Instead, she has to get married to some dude she doesn't even care about or know or anything. So uh, when she marries this guy, uh, you know, he's a good man and everything. Like, he seems like a perfectly good person who she can be friends with, but um, neither of them want this marriage and he wants to be with someone else. Um, and so she tells him, hey, um, you can be with the other person. You can, I'll amend our marriage contracts to allow you to do that um, and have a concubine. But uh, if you, in return, uh, give me the permission and the money to attend the academy. So he agrees to that, but of course, um, the other woman who he's in love with, um, is our other main character, Georgina, and she does not want to be a concubine uh, because that would ruin her reputation. Pretty soon after that, Georgina ends up in jail for activist stuff, um, and one of her friends goes to Nahale's husband for help, and so Nahale uses her influence to get Georgina out of jail. Um, and that is how they first meet, and how Nahale ends up involved in the Daughters of Izdihar, which is the women's rights group as well that Georgina was already part of. So both of our main characters are struggling throughout the entire story with reputations they have to uphold that they don't care about, but that other people make them have to care about, basically. And then even if they do maintain their reputations, it does not protect them from anything after all. And then um, basically the entire time, uh, the entire story is a commentary on uh, how women are treated, how women are dismissed, um, how women are just assumed to be lesser than and all of this other stuff. And uh, it really parallels what our society goes through and really shows how hard it is for women to win uh, basic rights. It is so 
gripping and so real. And it really resonated with me because, I mean, I think we all know what struggles women face daily. Um, it's not even just the fact that the women in this book are trying to get the right to vote and all of that, um, and that no one believes them when uh, they say that it was the police who set fire to Parliament, it was not them, um, all of that. Um, and But it's not even just that, it's the smaller things too, the smaller comments that are made, the smaller humiliations that the women have to endure and all of that. And it is such an incredible book. So anyway, please go read it. It's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've read this book and what your thoughts are, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!